Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in on this week's episode of Connecting with Chels. You'll be finding me in the studio this week as we are going to be discussing the outlook for your secondary severe weather season. Now many of you, when you think of severe weather, especially here in the southeast, you associate it with the springtime and climatologically, this is accurate based on data from the National Weather Service. Our highest number of tornadoes by month typically occur in March and April. April, but wait, there is generally an uptick heading into the fall months with this number, which usually begins in November and continues all the way into mid to late December. And sometimes this also can carry over into your winter months as well. If you've lived here for any period of time, you know severe weather can strike at any moment. Even though this is our secondary severe weather season, not our primary, it still is highly significant. But why in the world do we get severe weather here in the southeast even during the fall months? Well, it all has to do with the jet stream. During the fall months, the jet stream starts to migrate farther south. And when it does this, it strengthens due to the very strong contrast between dry, cold air still situated to our northwest and warm, moist air still residing across much of the southeast. There's a very strong jet stream essentially adds more fuel and more spin for the possibility of severe weather. And when these different air masses collide, this also is a perfect recipe for severe weather to happen. And you notice the Tennessee Valley smack dab in the middle of it. But what are all of the different ingredients that we need for severe weather to happen in the first place? Well, an easy way to remember is by a four letter word word slim S L I M. Let's start with S. The first thing we look at is shear. This is when winds change direction and or speed with height. And what this does is this adds rotation to a thunderstorm and this can cause a storm to become tornadic. But before we look at the shear, we need a lifting mechanism. A lifting mechanism essentially is a trigger where the air is forced to rise. Generally, we see this in the form of a cold front, but once we have that lifting mechanism, we need instability. We need a very unstable atmosphere because the air will continue to rise, and this is how the thunderstorm grows. The most unstable conditions are by warm and also humid air. And so the last letter should be very self explanatory moisture. The more warmth and the more moisture we have, the better recipe that we have to create severe weather. But we don't say all of these things to scare you. We say them to prepare you just like you would have a shelter safety plan in the springtime. You need to have one during the fall months as well. Make sure you go to the lowest level of your building or home and also make sure you have a very small interior room. You want to avoid windows, doors and all outside walls. Best places to go in this scenario would be a closet, a hallway, the stairs or even a bathroom. And if you can, you want to cover yourself with a blanket or mattress for protection, especially you want to protect your head. The safest place of all, if you don't have a storm shelter, is going to be your basement. You also can go through through our severe weather checklist. If you haven't already, make sure you download our 48 first alert weather app. This is where you can get real time updates and you can know days in advance when we issue a 48 first alert weather day for severe weather. Also make sure you have multiple ways to receive watches and warnings. A great way is by getting a NOAA weather radio and of course secure any loose outdoor items around your home or your residence. The most important thing is review this safety plan with your children and so you're entire family is weather ready and you can stay alert. You can also monitor our social media for updates. Thank you so much for tuning in on this week's episode of Connecting with Chels. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's episode where you can find out how weather will impact your everyday life.